yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth. Working hella hard till they put me in the dirt. Gonna go far, man, listen to my words. Gonna be a star, man, life's like a blur. When you're working this hard, yeah, you get what you deserve. Yeah, I ain't taking a backseat, I'm passing. Anybody else who is rapping, I'm nasty. Ain't nobody able to catch me, they gasping. They cannot compare, they can't match me, I'm at half speed. I got you bending. Now I'm spreading and getting my name out now Yeah, they hear me laugh All the crowds repping the sound I'm hitting the ground Running up and coming Ain't nothing Yeah, rookie of the year I'ma keep it 100 Cold-blooded No budget From nothing to something I ain't bluffing I got a full hand And a full plan I ain't gonna stop Till I'm at the top, man Every single drop Got me feeling awesome I'm about to pop Started from the bottom, yeah I wanna live I'm cold inside Give all I have Just to feel alive I'll fight to live I'll fight to strive One day I'll have What I want in life These two little words evoke a powerful emotional response from educators, pundits, and citizens everywhere. But why? If you grew up in the 20th century, you might have had one or two options for school, the public district, and in some communities, a faith-based school or an elite prep school. If your parents moved and had the means to be picky about their destination, they probably factored school quality into their decision-making process. Every school, public, private, or somewhere in between, is now in a more competitive, higher stakes battle for enrollment than at any time Yet the digital presence of most public school districts falls woefully short of expected standards for this day and age. In a competitive marketplace, those who fail to stand out are fated for irrelevance. But too many schools aren't even making an effort. Administrators would be well served to start thinking like business owners, developing a marketing plan and bringing in people who know how to implement it. Public sentiment plays almost as big a role as the aforementioned public report cards in determining the so-called quality of schools from the outside. Just like that, the school system's story will become its brand. And that's exactly the way it should be. This is the time to be the school of choice. This is the time to show parents what you can offer their children that others can't. This is the time to build your brand. Four years ago, I had never written a blog post. I'd never tweeted and I'd never listened to a podcast. However, what I was doing over in the Philippines, which is where I live with my beautiful wife, was setting up and building a business over in the Philippines with over 250 employees and clients from literally every corner of the globe. And I burnt out. I was working 14, 16 hours a day I uh, wasn't eating properly, workout, what's that? And I literally hit a wall at the end of 2009. I wasn't really running a business anymore, the business was running me. And if you're an entrepreneur, you know what I'm talking about. We've all felt this kind of overwhelm before, right? See these heads going like this. But what I decided to do was launch a blog that I was going to kind of document this journey on throughout the course of 2010. But by the end of the year, I had become the virtual CEO. I had taken myself out of the business and I'd amassed around 5,000 blog readers, a load of people following me on Twitter, and I started a podcast all in one year. And I realized very quickly that it was gonna be pretty tough for me, focusing on my personal brand, to be original. Because if you think about it logically, particularly in the online world, there are very, very few ideas now that are original. And I figured at this point, there was gonna be somebody else out there that was gonna be answering the questions that I was gonna be answering. There was gonna be somebody else out there that was producing the solutions to the problems that I was gonna be producing as well. But I thought to myself, well, hang on, there's only one Chris Ducker, thank God. <laughs> I think the world could handle two. But I figured, you know what, this is it. This is the way to be original. It's my personality, it's my experiences, it's my stories. It's the way that I put myself across and, and talk about business and help people with their businesses. That's original, right? There's only one me. And the good news is, there's only one you. So if you do, if you do decide 
to go ahead and start building a business so it's sort of focused around you and what you're all about, there are no real competitors out there. Thank you.